we have say, said many times before, mutation starts in unvaccinated people, especially those who have immune compromise. HIV is one of the, um, the, the, the best examples, and, and especially if you're not on treatment. This is Dr. Angelique Kutsia, one of the first doctors in South Africa to notice that a new variant of COVID-19 could be pushing infections. The discovery has led to global interest in this variant. The World Health Organization designated the variant B11529 a variant of concern. And here's why. Omicron uh, B11529 is named as a variant of concern because it has some concerning properties. Um, this variant has a large number of mutations, and some of these mutations have some worrying characteristics. WHO continues to call on all countries to optimize public health and social measures and ensure that high-risk and vulnerable individuals in all countries are fully vaccinated immediately. We now know it as Omicron and why the world is paying close attention. Let's take a closer look at what doctors and scientists have discovered so far. On transmission, uh, in terms of if there is a fitness advantage, if it's more transmissible, um, there is some suggestion of that, but again, it's early days. We expect to have more information on transmission um, within days, not necessarily weeks, but in days. It's only since last week that it started to rise significantly. So that means that the virus is quite fast spreading. Um, but the virulency, the severity of disease, we cannot yet say it's going to be horrible. We are going to see people die. We cannot say that yet. It's not yet clear whether Omicron is more transmissible compared to other variants, including Delta. The number of people testing positive has risen in areas of South Africa affected by this variant. But epidemiologic studies are underway to understand if it's because of Omicron or other factors. We have seen uh, reports of cases of, with Omicron that go from mild disease all the way to severe disease. Um, there is some uh, indication that uh, some of the patients are presenting with mild disease, but again, it's early days and we do have a surveillance bias right now in terms of the cases that are being detected. It is not yet clear whether infection with Omicron causes more severe disease compared to infections with other variants, including Delta. But the preliminary data suggests that there are increasing rates of hospitalization in affected provinces such as Gauteng. This may be due to increasing overall numbers of people becoming infected rather than a result of specific infection with Omicron. The more this virus circulates, the more infections there will be. The more infections there will be, the more people will die. And this is something that can be prevented. Dr. Kutsia says scientists are monitoring the severity of illness in this variant as compared to Delta or other variants. Uh, the, the patients that we have seen 20 and between 20 and 40, it's mostly the fatigue and the, the, the body aches and pain and just a general feeling of malaise. They're not feeling well. They can't tell you exactly what it is. Um, also, you know, they, they, they use a very interesting term, uh, a krapracha or a scratchy type of throat. Um, not really a sore throat either. And not nothing in the nose, you know, maybe a bit of a running nose, but that you have to ask. That's not what they volunteer. And that's what we see, and that's why it's different from the um, Delta variant. The World Health Organization is working with technical partners like scientists from South Africa who have been at the forefront of understanding new variants. They want to understand how this new variant interacts with vaccines, which were developed before Omicron was identified. You might be wondering how doctors are able to pick up this new variant. Well, that same PCR test that goes up your nose works just fine in identifying this new variant. What should also be commended is the improvements and enhancements of testing and sequencing that have happened throughout the course of this pandemic, particularly in uh, South Africa, but also in Southern Africa. Studies are ongoing to determine whether there is any impact on other types of tests, including rapid antigen detection tests. And individuals don't do what they need to do to stop transmission of Delta, they wouldn't stop Omicron either. One of the main concerns when a new variant emerges is whether it will make it more difficult to treat the virus. At the moment, the World Health Organization says the current treatments such as corticosteroids and IL-6 receptor blockers are effective for those who get severe symptoms. Blanket travel bans will not prevent the international spread of Omicron and they place a heavy burden on lives and livelihoods. 
but there is still more to learn about its effect on transmission, severity of disease, and the effectiveness of tests, therapeutics, and vaccines. While scientists work hard to understand this new variant, one thing is clear. We need more time to understand it. The World Health Organization is coordinating with a large number of researchers from around the world to better understand Omicron. For Times Live Video, I'm Catherine White.